you are not ready for an A if you don't know these topics. I must live in the point where you're always focusing on numbers too, where you actually think mathematical thinking. And almost all the topics I'm going to show you in this video have something to do with word problem, word problem related. Now, another thing about mathematics is that you don't just need to understand one topic to be sure of your A. What happens is that topics depend on another. Now, there are some topics I'm not going to be mentioning in this video, which are more of like foundational topics. Now, these foundational topics will help you to understand these topics. I'm going to make another video talking about these foundational topics. But why does not actually ask questions on them, but you need to know them to understand these topics I'm going to mention. So the first topic, as you can see here, is measuring, word problem related. So you need to know your topic. So you need to know your formulas. Knowing your formulas, understanding what's actually going on. If you want to pass any WIAC exam, you should know what's actually going on. So it isn't really about plug and play. I have my formula, I have my numbers. Insert my numbers, get my answer. No doesn't really work like that so with a word problem there are some keywords you need to be very acquainted with and I see mathematics to be a skill so the more you solve questions the more what happens you get acquainted to some of these keywords so you are most likely to get things right when you are asked so take key note of that mathematics is a skill some people go like mathematics is too difficult it's like saying running a hundred meter race and winning is very difficult why is it that those who keep doing it always do well at it? Because they have practiced it and it has become a skill. The next one is probability. And you know probability is also a word problem. If you don't really know what is going on, you just have to stop. Because you are most likely not to get it right. And you are watching this video definitely because you want to get things right. The next thing is logical reasoning. Logical reasoning. You know, you always thought that mathematics was numbers had to do with numbers until you met logical reasoning which sort of required a lot of thinking to get things right next one is trigonometry and i mentioned that you need a lot of foundational topics to understand topics like trigonometry you need to be very good at your fractions your linear equation dealing with algebraic expression and so on so you know, when it comes to trigonometry, we are, we are going to be dealing with angle of elevation and then angle of depression. This has more to do with word problem. The next and most important topic you need to know as you are going to write your novel deck is statistics. Your mean, your median, your mode, your variance, your interquartile, how to draw pie charts, how to draw bar charts. And the likes the next one is linear transformation know how reflection takes place translation takes place and so on so the next so the next topic here is polygons and polygons wow why has mastered the art of giving polygon questions with word problem so you should take note of that as well then plane geometry plane geometry they can draw the diagram for you but have um, a sentence below the diagram. Once you don't know what is going on with the sentence, you're most likely not to be able to solve the question. No matter the um, rules you know concerning the angles, the alternating angles and so on. Now knowing the type of angle would help you so much. For example, when they mention an obtuse angle, supplementary angle, vertical angles. Once you know this, you are good to go. Now, circle theorem. Circle theorem is a topic that you need to have a lot of foundational knowledge on. Now, I can assure you, you always have circle theorem. You always have circle theorem. So you need to know your circles. You also need to have knowledge on plane geometry. I already mentioned plane geometry. So have knowledge on plane geometry as well. Will help you a great deal to do circle theorem. And once you've mastered this topic, you know, you are just going to be sorry when you see the question because as soon as you see the question, what happens in your mind is all the rules and all the principles you know just begin to make sense and they begin to add up. So this is a summary. I mentioned measuration and then word problem on all of these, probability, 
statistics, linear transformation, polygons, plane geometry, and then circle theorem. Take note, these questions are always in objectives. Stop looking out for number bases, algebraic expression, linear equation, logarithm, and then indices. Although those topics are great, but these are the ones that are most likely to help you to get your A. Thank you for watching this video. Tap on the logo to visit my channel to get more science and maths tips.